The Opus Guardian 6000 is a portable 240 volt capable home backup power station. But how efficient is it? How much of the 4,608 watt hours of battery capacity is usable when running at 240 volts? And then, just how fast can 240 volts recharge 4,608 watt hours? Let's find out. First, let's put a load on the 6,000 watt inverter somewhere around 3,500, 4,000, 4,500 watts. I'm gonna run a couple of heat guns and a heater. I find that making heat draws a lot of power. Um, and so let's get that set up. Heat gun number one on low. Heat gun number two on low. Heat gun number th one on high. Heat gun number two on high. All right, it's almost 3,000 watts just from those two heat guns. Let's turn on the heater. All right, we are at 4,500 watts. Looks like it might settle down around 4,000. Okay, that's a good amount. We'll see how long it takes to drain this. So after it's run a while, we've actually settled out around 3,500 on the output. I wanted to show you how I'm actually doing this test. It took me a while to figure out how to do it because I don't have the specialized equipment to, you know, monitor 240 volts and, you know, meter the wattage it comes out but they make these wonderful uh, split phase kind of splitters. And so coming out of the 240 volt output, it splits into 220 amp circuits here. And then those are running to these three devices. And so when it's over, I'll just add those two watt hour numbers up. Um, those are both coming out of the same battery, even at the same time. And so it's one charge, we'll see how efficient it is. There might be a better way to do it, but I don't know how to do it. So this is the way we're gonna give it a shot. If you're curious what the voltage output is in this setup, we're at 118 on one side and 119 on the other. And that's at the 3600 watts of output, 3547 right now, with two heat guns on high and a heater. Now that we're under 5%, the battery icon's flashing. But look at this, I'm only at 95 degrees. We've been running for over an hour, pulling 3,500, 3,600 watts, and the temperature is only at 95 degrees. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, so we're starting to see some wattage and voltage drops here as the battery runs out. All right, there we go. Let me put some power back into the meters and we'll see what we do. All right, so that is a total of 4,103 watt hours of power from the battery. And if we divide that by the battery capacity, 4608, we get 89%, percent 89.04 percent of the capacity of the battery at 240 volts. That's pretty good. They say that anything over 80 percent is good. 89 percent is very good. Okay, now that we've drained the Guardian 6000, let's charge it up as fast as we can. So using 120 volts, we can charge at a maximum of 1800 watts, but using 240 volts, I can charge at 3600 watts. So let's use the 240 volt input and see how fast it'll charge. Now you might be like me um, and wondering where exactly you have 240 volt plugs to use. Uh, you know, of course you probably have one in your electric dryer. If you have an electric dryer, uh, you have maybe an electric stove, that kind of stuff. I actually have one in my garage here, which is handy for this. Uh, my previ previous owners of this house installed one out here. It's a little close to the uh, sink area here for my taste, but um, it it'll work. Um, so it's a 30 amp plug. Uh, I have this uh, adapter 
it's literally just, you know, these three wires going to the three wires of an Edison. What you don't ever want to do with something like this is uh, plug this into 240 and then plug a 120 volt device into it because that will let the magic smoke out, as they say. Um, your 120 volt device will stop working very quickly if you're putting double the voltage into it. So whenever I plug this in, there will be 240 volts of power coming through from this plug, and then that will just plug into the back of the Guardian 6000. So let's get it going. We're still at 0%. You'll notice that there's a switch here that says adjust or fast. Because we are trying to do this as fast as we can, I'll have this switched over to fast. So we'll get the maximum amount of power in, but you can also switch over to adjust and literally adjust the amount of power coming in off the grid, both in 120 and 240. You also see the uh, Anderson input there and the circuit breaker. There's also a couple of uh, expansion battery ports. There's two of them, so that's interesting. All right, let's get it plugged in. All right, and the power is growing there, just getting started. It's currently 824. I'm gonna start an actual timer. we are running. We're getting close to 3600 watts, which will max out that 30 amp 240 volt output and max out the 240 volt input into the Guardian 6000. It's like it might settle down around 3500 watts. All right, we'll check back in. According to the screen there, it says it will take a little over an hour, hour, 1.3 hours to charge. So we've been running for a few minutes now, charging up at 240 volts. You see we're still at 3,400 plus watts going into the Guardian 6000. You can hear the fans are finally ramping up. Uh, according to the app, um, it is 77 degrees inside there. Uh, I mean, you can hear the fans. I think these are a good bit quieter than other units. I know I've tested some where when you put, you know, even eight, nine hundred, a thousand watts in or out, the fans are just going full blast and they're very loud. This is not as loud as I would have expected. So uh, I want to test that later on. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes of charging here uh, and we are about 62% charged. Looks like we're around 3,400 watts coming in. And according to the screen, it'll be about 33 more minutes till we're fully charged. All right, we're just into 92% and the wattage has dropped to, you know, around 2000 watts. Uh, the temperature is 93 degrees. We are one hour and 41 minutes in and at 99%, the input wattage is dropping significantly as we are kind of getting to the top of the battery here. So. So far, basically an hour and 40 something minutes, and you can go from zero amount of watt hours in the battery to 4,608 watt hours in the battery using 240 volts. Ten oh eight, one forty three. Not bad. One hour and 43 minutes to go from completely drained out to 4,608 watt hours. I wanna try out the Guardian 6000 with my electric oven. Now I should note that this is a 50 amp appliance while the Guardian 6000 puts out 30 amps of 240 volt. So I am certain that I can overdrive the inverter on the Guardian 6000 at some point, but I'm curious what it can do plus I want to take some measurements of the fans on the Guardian 6000, see just how loud it is. So let's do that first before we actually get anything turned on. So this decibel meter isn't super accurate, but it should be a good reference for, 
you know, whenever things get louder. And so you see me talking, and I'm in the 70 to 71, uh, you know, kind of loudness range, SPL. Uh, if you listen, uh, the only thing making noise in here is my refrigerator. And that's at a steady 43 to 44 decibels. And so let's get this going, and we'll see if the fan kicks on, one, how loud it gets, and two, just how many burners and whether we can run the oven or not on my stove. This stove is probably, I want to say it's at least 15 years old, so it is not efficient in any way. I'm going to start with a small back burner, turn it up to about half. See, it's starting to power on. That little burner is pulling about 1,200 watts. The fan kicked on just a little bit. So with the refrigerator running at 43 decibels, adding that fan noise, I'm at 50 total. And we're still in the 1,200 watt range. Let's see what happens when I add a second burner. Twenty four hundred watts. All right. Turn that one off. I'm going to now add one of the large burners with the refrigerator on and with the burners on. I'm at 60 decibels with the fan. So, all right, let's turn off the small one and two large ones. Ooh, jumped up to 5,000 watts. And now the fan's really going. So 67 decibels. And whenever they're both heating, we're looking at about 5,000 watts. So I can run at least the two big burners at the same time. Let me add a small burner. That's three of the burners. 3,700 watts. 6,300 watts whenever they're really going. So we're up into boost mode already when they really need to go. Let me just go ahead and add this fourth burner just for fun. It's a lot of heat being generated. Let's see. 6,200, 7,500 watts, and we've overloaded it. Okay. Well, 7,200 is the limit, and no big surprise. 7,500 for a little bit, definitely overloaded it. So I'm gonna reset things. So 400 degrees now, and the oven is pulling a consistent 5,800 watts. So my oven and my electric dryer from the previous test pull about the same. And whenever it's pulling into that 5,000 range, I'm gonna say this is probably the loudest the fan will be. Oh, it just dropped back down. So the oven is already heated back up again. That's pretty fast. At 2000 watts, around 50 decibels. Let me turn on one of these small burners. Turn on a small burner. About 62, and that's about 3,500 watts. So at 3,000, oh, there's 7,000 watts, down to 58. Woo, surged up into boost mode for a second. So full out, the decibel level with my refrigerator running as well is about 70 decibels. And it's not a high pitch noise, it's kind of low, so it's not as uh, uh, bothersome if, as some fans that you might hear. Of course, I would never run in a power outage a full-size electric oven, electric stove, or any of the burners. Uh, but it's good to know that you can in a pinch if you needed to. Uh, the Guardian 6000 just keeps running it. We're cooking to 400 degrees in the oven, and I got one of the burners on. So occasionally it kicks up into 
the boost mode above 6,000. I've seen it at over 7,000 watts. So it does have its limits. As I said before, this is a 50 amp appliance and this is a 30 amp um, supply coming out of the Guardian 6000. So we found its limits. But we also found that it can still do it. Like my oven is heating up and this burner is on. So it is working. The Guardian 3000 is pretty quiet under 3000 watts. My phone app isn't calibrated, but you can see the level compared to my fridge. When we're in boost mode or pulling 5,000 watts, the fans kick on to full, but even then it didn't feel as loud as some other power stations I've heard. The Opus Guardian 6000 using AC at 240 volts has an available 89% of battery and can recharge as fast as one hour and 40 minutes. The Guardian 6000 is a fairly quiet 240 volt beast. So what does it cost? Well, the launch price actually depends on you. There's a link in the description where you can subscribe to get an email letting you know when the Guardian 6000 is released. For every person that subscribes, the launch price drops by 15 cents. So if 5,000 people subscribe, the launch price will be $1,699. So make sure you follow that link in the description and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos about the new Guardian 6000, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. How would you use the Guardian 6000? What would you power? Leave a comment below. I'm Scott, I'm a fan of the Guardian 6000. I make other videos like this over my own channel and you can check them out at Scott Link Media. And I'll see you on the next one.